Hello everyone, this is Secret Comic Girl. I am back with another video. So I do videos several times a week, sometimes several times a day. And in this video, I am going to be the review of World's Finest Issue number one. Now before I begin with um, with this, um, one of the things about World's Finest is I believe it is only... Um, six issues in uh i don't have the comic books in front of me so one of the things that i like doing as a comic book collector and as someone who can read like four five six issues a day is i really like to cat i really like to be able to get it at the beginning and that way it helps me to understand what the hell i'm reading later on so, um, I think I did a couple of reviews of issues that, I think I did a review of issue number, um, three and issue number five, I think. I gotta check my, um, cause I have the videos that I've already done that are already, that are, that are going to be coming out on a certain time, um, I actually wrote a list down of every comic book uh, video that I did so that I wouldn't inadvertently make another um, video because then, then the site recognizes I've already uploaded uh, that video before and be like, no. so yeah. So first of all, um, I need to say this. Uh, I did a video that is coming up about what I did a rant about Amazon and about the fact that they're trying to get people to get the digital version of these comics to try to in my own personal opinion to try to get them away from physical comic books and for people that collect comic books that is an actual no we don't do that so um yeah so I, I managed to get this in this particular variant. I did not know this variant existed, uh, but this was actually the only cover, as far as I know of, of issue one that I was able to get my hands on that was not a digital. Uh, a digital. So basically what, go, what's going on is, bat, is uh, Batman, Batman, Robin, and Superman are fighting Poison Ivy. Well, at least Batman and Robin are fighting Poison Ivy. Um, Superman ends up encountering... Um, I, um, um, Or is it? Um, Met Met uh, Metallico. So, uh, yeah. Met Metallico. And he's the one with the kryptonite heart. And he injects Superman with red kryptonite right in the heart. Um, and red kryptonite has the ability to make Superman hallucinate. Um, so one of the big things I like about this series is the uh, inclusion of the Doom Patrol. The Doom Patrol is one of my favorite, favorite superhero teams next to the Justice League. In the show, uh, Cyborg, who will later on become a member of the Justice League, joins up with, the, with Doom Patrol uh, because the scientist who uh, specializes in people with unusual abilities, we're not talking about like metahumans, but people that became who they were through science or through an accident or whatever, they come together and they form the Doom Patrol. Like you have Negative Man, who is, um, who as far as I know of, and I please do not send me some really bad comments down below by saying this. I think is uh, DC's first openly, not not really openly 
uh, gay character, but definitely does imply, definitely shows in the show that he happens to be gay. Now, he has a wife and, um, I believe, one child, and he knows what will happen if it comes out that he happens um, to be gay, and not just being gay, but cheating on his wife with another man. And he takes part in this program, and he ends up having an accident and becoming this uh, creature known as, well, this entity known as Negative Man. I must say this, they did a fucking bang-up job on that show. The debate, you know, a man who, no matter, it doesn't matter that, you know, he, in the world he lives in now, it's perfectly acceptable to be openly gay. He just does not want to be openly gay. And that is his choice, and I respect that as a character. But yeah, so Negative Man, uh, you have um, that one woman who used to be an actress. Um, let me see. Um, was it... Um, Rita. Um, she became um, Elastic Woman. Um, Rita's one of my favorite members of the Doom Patrol because she goes through a lot of um, a lot of like inner turmoil. Mr. Ne Negative Man also is my favorite member of the Doom Patrol, but him and Rita are my two favorite uh, members. Um, they both have their issues. They're not perfect. Uh, they're absolutely delightful to watch, uh, which is another reason that I got um, got uh, HBO Max because I really wanted to see Doom Patrol before they got rid of it. But yeah, so uh, Batman is very aware of the Doom Patrol, and yeah, so um, so they they essentially basically just managed to defeat Superman, um, and of course. Is not even all that type of stuff, and they have to take Superman to see this scientist who is the man who brought all these people together that formed the Doom Patrol. When I'm gonna tell you something, I didn't even know the Doom Patrol was even in this issue, I didn't even know this, this book series existed until Mike Spider Slayer showed uh, one of the issues, and when I finally managed to get around to actually buying the comic and I opened it up and I saw the Doom Patrol was in there. I'm like, wow. I, how far along, how far back does this go? So, which, which is why I, which is why I was like, okay, I think of the other issues. But, the, one of the huge things that I like to say about this comic book series, this is actually DC's finest work. Um, Yes, DC has some great titles, but just the inside of the comic is just marvelous. They have some of the they have some really great um, variants, which I really like. Um, and yeah, I mean, <laughs> this is Superman's skeleton. Like it just it just amazes me about like what this red kryptonite is doing to his mind it's literally just like ripping it apart um i like jimmy olsen his 1950s elf there for like it's just it's so great um yeah like literally just the whole thing it's just great. Uh, poor Rita has to worry about insane Superman. She tries to hold him and she can't because he's just so much more stronger. It's it's just in, it's just insane. Like, oh man, the Doom Patrol in the same comic book with Batman and Superman is just, just gold. Yeah. 
I love it. Um, they, um, yeah, like, uh, Calder's Mansion was actually in the show, it's actually out there, I believe, out in the country, but in the comic book, it's actually in the city. Um, but, yeah. Yeah. So, um, I'm going to give this uh, issue uh, five stars. It is just a great, great um, first issue of a amazing series. And um, definitely, definitely, it does a lot differently than, say, uh, uh, you know, uh, detective comics and all this. And it has everything that I like about it. So I'm going to go back and check to see uh, if I've done uh, reviews for those other two issues before I was finally able to get my hands on the other ones. And if I if I have, uh, I will ensure you this will be the first uh, review that you will see before you see them. And then I will read the other ones and everything. So I'm hoping that I can get... Um, all, um, I believe, six reviews in this one and the other five, or this one and the other uh, three before the new issue comes out later on this month. I don't know if it's coming out next week. If it doesn't come out, um, if it doesn't come out um, next week, it's probably going to come out the week after next. So, yeah. Um, so I'm going to end it here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed making them, please hit the like button. Um, hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss a single issue, uh, video. But I don't think that we'll, the new issue will find us for, uh, September is coming out next week. Because Mike Spider Slayer would have mentioned it. I think it might be coming out the week after next. If not, it will definitely be coming out the last Wednesday. <laughs> of the month. So, until, yeah. Yeah, so if it doesn't come out next week, it might come out the week after next. If not, it might come out the last Wednesday of the month. Okay, I got my, I, I got my, my, my mind straight. <laughs> so, um, I'll see you guys around, and until next time, nerves read on. Bye.